Hello students and welcome back to the Kent State Hot Shop. Today we're going to introduce you how to make snow people and through that assignment we're going to introduce two new tools for you. So there's the Marver which is a steel slab table. We use this for shaping the glass and stretching it out and then we will also be introducing the jacks to you which is used for making constrictions. And then we will be reintroducing the tweezers, which you guys already know about, but instead of using the tips, we're gonna actually use it as a break off tool. So we'll go over that at the end of the demo, but I really briefly wanna show you how to set this up at the bench. So your tweezers, because we don't want wax on them, we hang them off the edge of the bench just ever so slightly, that way the tips do not get dirty. And then we set up the jacks where the blades face the back of the bench and the handles face the front. That way the wax stays in the back and that keeps everything nice and organized and clean. We also, because we use the jacks before we use the tweezers, we want the jacks to be closest to us and then the tweezers are just the next in line. I also would like to briefly go over how you hold the jacks. So, when you guys are making your constrictions in your snow people, we don't want to hold it like this. We don't have a lot of control here. So instead, we flip that over. The thumb goes on this side, your fingers wrap around, and you just ever so lightly squeeze where the handles are. And that will help you make your constrictions as you're blowing glass or sculpting glass. So let's get started. You guys want to make sure you start off with a hot honey rub. So there's a little bit of color in that honey rub. And we're going to take our first dip. Go up that 45. Even out. Lift up as you come out of the furnace. And here you start off with a nice, clean, and even gather. That first gather should be very close to the tip, maybe an inch or two into the rod. Anything past that is going to not be useful glass and it will end up breaking off or staying really cold. And as we talked about in class, anything that you guys are going to be working on or keeping is going to be glass that is off of the honey rod. So make sure that when you take your second gather, that glass ends up flowing off to the tip. So now we'll do our double dip. And when we take this dip, we want to make sure that we're lining up that second gather with our first gather. So you can see that it ended up being right on that edge, up on the moil. And then we're going to use gravity as a tool to stretch that glass out before we touch the marber because the marber takes out a lot of heat. And then we're going to shape the glass by rolling it on the surface of the marber and then pulling back ever so slightly just to stretch that glass out. And then hopefully by the end of that you'll have a finger or hot dog like shape. You'll come to the bench and grab your jacks and make your first crease, your second crease, your third crease, and then you're going to go back to that first crease and establish what is going to be called your neckline. And in shaping that, you want it to be a little bit tighter than the rest of your lines and you also want that little bit of a curve and to get that shape you want to kick your jacks out instead of being straight up and down you want it to be at a slight angle and then you can go back to the rest of your creases and clean up those shapes if you'd like and notice as i'm turning that i go fingertips to palm i never want to roll up onto my wrist or up to my elbow. 
because I have no control up here. So we go fingertip to palm, palm to fingertip, or we just caterpillar all the way up and down. This is where we'll have the most control. So once my snow people is ready to go, I'm going to use the cold part of the jacks that was not touching the glass. I'm going to check where my neckline is and that's going to cause little micro fractures. And then once I tap this off into the annealer, it will hopefully break right there because I checked it a little bit and it is a tighter constriction. And then when you guys have your assistants and your partners, they'll help you open the door. You're gonna load this piece as far back as you can and put your piece on the shelf using the back of the tweezers. Bonk it. Sometimes this happens where they don't come off right away. So what I would like you guys to do, take that back to your bench. Use the cold part of the jacks again. And just go over that line one more time. And that should make it so then you can break them off pretty easily. So I, again, set my piece down on the shelf, give it one good bump, and it comes clean off. Notice how I use the backs of my tweezers to bonk it off. I don't use it as a hammer and smack it because that's going to damage the tools. And I don't want to use the tips because they're so fragile and tiny and bouncy that it's not actually going to do anything. So make sure you hold it just like this and then you give it a good one, two, three. And if it's not coming off after a couple bumps, just go back to the bench, take your time, reestablish that little neckline, just go over it one more time, and then try it again. Um, also, be quick about being in the annealers. You don't wanna keep the door open for longer than a couple minutes because this box needs to stay at 960 degrees. If it drops, significantly lower than that, it has the potential to break pieces in there, and there could be people's thesis work or other people, any, anyone's work could be in there. So you just want to be very mindful that it is a shared space between you and others. Um, other than that, I think you guys have what you need, so see you next time.